Welcome to part number 20 of Need for Speed Underground 2. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're going to be doing some more of the world events here in stage number 3. So yeah, um, as you can see, we've already done one DVD cover. We did all the sponsor events. I think we did all the SUV events as well, because it's been about a week since I recorded my last video for the game, and we did world eight world events. So those were all the hidden events scattered around stage three. So this is the first sprint race that we're going to do for this video. We're going from the top of the heights all the way to the center of Beacon Hills. I'm not looking forward to this race. Here we go. Um, okay. That was a good way to start, I guess. Wow. All right, we're trying that again. <laughs> GT Sport. <laughs> well, obviously you guys saw what happened. I left that in, in the final video. And, uh, yeah. They spun me out in the very beginning. We didn't even make it into the first corner. I got spun out already. See, that's not really a shortcut when you're coming... When you're going to the north. Because you have to make that sharp left turn. That's why I didn't even bother going into the alleyway. If you're going south, it's actually a shortcut. North, not so much. And I hate racing in Jackson Heights so much that I need to save as much nitrous as possible. Just in case the worst happens. What the... Did, did you guys see that? How the hell did that ca how the hell did that core get so much air? Wow. Oh, you only got an hour and 30 minutes left. Dude, you missed it. The, the car went airborne like it went all the way flying into the air like into space and then it came back down. Wow, that was that was ridiculous. <laughs> but um how much of a lead do you have right now in the GT5 24 hours Nurburgring B spec? Whoa. See why I said we need nitrous? That's exactly why we need to have nitrous ready for all the worst case scenarios like that. Come on. Come on, rubber banding. Help me out here, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rubber Banding. Thank you, Gaming Gods. Appreciate it. Of course, no rep points because the finish was too close. All right, let me make a thumbnail and let's continue. We've unlocked, ooh, new carbon hoods and new paint for brake calipers. Awesome. So, the next event we're going to do is, I believe, a drift event. Yep, drifting. Ooh, this is a big drift course. All right, here we go. Let's run over this crowd of people. Well, two people. Oh, losing too much speed. Come on, come on. Pick it up, pick it up. There we go. Don't lose it. There we go. Despite the little mistake we made back in the lead.
I thought our lead would be more, you know, a little bit bigger, but I guess not. We're not doing that good. Ah. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Mustang. Really appreciate that, homie. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Stupid cliff. Ah, we're ahead by 9,000 points. We're okay. We have one more lap to go. Holy crap. Just as I say that, Cliff does a massive drift and gets into the triple digits. And so do we. Ah, put him in the wall. We ruined his drift. <laughs> yes. <laughs> GTS AI. <laughs> hey, Olsma Jack. I'm doing good. How are you? Ooh, new side mirrors. Cool. All right, what else is in the heights? Is that a drag race? Yes, it is. So now it's time to go do the next race right now. See, this is the one thing I hate about Jackson Heights. Like, I love driving through here. Not so much the racing and not so much the um, traveling from point A to point B to go to different races because of how long the roads are here. Oh, you don't know what to stream? Dude, that's like me every single week. I'm just like, dude, what the hell do I stream? <laughs> Yeah, drifting into a freaking wall is probably not a good idea. Okay, so we have to meet up in the heights to go to the freeway? That makes sense, I guess. Probably a secret meeting or something, I don't know. blew the motor out ah but still managed to win regardless easy peasy lemon squeezy oh you don't have a lot of games yeah it's me too <laughs> big guns from France representing GTI magazine are in the crowd let's see if you can catch their attention hmm GTI magazine but I'm not driving a Volkswagen I know bad joke bad joke anyways so the next event in Jackson Heights, Street Cross. Okay, so after circling around the in, almost the entire Heights, we do a Street Cross race, and we're getting the 411 from Jamie. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, Jamie. Uh, I already did. I already did all the outrun races in stage three, dude. That was like two or three segments ago. See, the thing about the street cross races is, if you have a bad start, the race is over. If you have a good start, it seems like the AI just falls off. The AI sucks around here.
Hey, what's up, Arthur? Just in time for the dominant victory here at the street cross race or something. Neon lights. Oh, boy. Okay, so what's the nearest event? Okay, so there's a sprint race right next to the specialty shop. And there's one thing I forgot to buy for the 240SX from the specialty shop. Which we're going to go do right now. Because it's nearby. Hey, accessorize your ride with style and turn some heads when you race by upgrading your car's looks and audio right here. There. That's all I wanted. <laughs> oh my god, I, I had to. Okay, cool. Thank god we're not going into the heights. I'm tired of it already. It's an all Mazda race. I already have Neon. I just don't want to spend any more money on Neon until we get the, the Pulse ones. But I already have Red Neon on this thing. Well, these Mazdas have no chance against my flaming Hot 240SX. Oh, one of them. All three of them crashed. Look, look at the map. All three of them crashed into each other. Okay, race is over, I think. I say I think because it can end up biting me in the ass later. There we go, another easy victory. Ooh, new engine upgrades, cool. Okay, so what's next? There's a circuit race next to the body shop and there's a special event next to the body shop. I'm gonna go with the special event. See, earlier in the video I mentioned if you go south, then there's a shortcut. If you go north, not so much. There's my point proven. Oh, okay, so this is a time trial. Okay. There we go. Okay, minute 45. Ah, oh, man, we have to go back to the heights. Whatever. Fine. I just don't want to be coming down the mountain and then up the mountain. It's, it's really annoying.
Okay, there we go. There's the photo shoot. You sure are stepping up to the challenge. Car audio and electronics just scored picks of your wheels for their cover. I didn't even get a chance to see the magazine. Okay, so I guess what we're gonna have to do is this. Oh, there we go. Oh. Dude, she looks fake. Oh, there's another circuit race now? Okay, fine. I guess. We'll just go do it right now. We'll just end our suffering by doing the Jackson Heights race right now. Okay, so it's inside this driveway or whatever this is. Yep, it's a driveway to a house. Aw, oh, come on. I mean, why am I complaining? I should already know this is a Jackson Heights race, but look at that track. That does not look fun. Well, I lost. So, we're trying this again. By the way, Arthur, thank you for bringing up that audio issue. Appreciate it. But, I'll, I'll you know, it's not a big deal. I can just fix it. Through the magic of video editing. Ooh. Not gonna lie, Grand Turismo 3 is the hardest game they have made to date. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, LT. Um, the, the thing is, is that with Grand Turismo 3, you're not able to adjust the audio for the music at all. So the audio is just playing loudly. Like, the music plays really loud, and you're not able to adjust that whatsoever. So the goal here is... I'm gonna go and play the music through my computer while I play the game, you know? So, like, when a race is about to start, right when it hits start, you know, right when it says start or go or whatever, I hit space, I hit, like, a hotkey, and the music starts playing. I turn off the music with the hotkey when the race is about to end. Things like that. I know it sounds like a lot of work, but the reason why I'm doing that is because... Or I want to do that when I start my GT3 LP in the future is because of the fact that... For me, Gran Turismo games, the music is a massive part of the whole thing. <laughs> All you had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Sure, Smoke, sure. And all you had to do was freaking aim at the Vagos. That's all you had to do. And Big Smoke couldn't even do that. So then you have to come up with like creative ways to cheat in that freaking mission without using cheat codes. Just so you can even have a chance of beating it. But yeah, to, to me, Gran Turismo, like, the music is a huge part of the games themselves. And it, it's just like, I, I can't have a GT3 or GT4 LP or whatever without the soundtracks. Gran Turismo 3, I do not want to get, other, get rid of the soundtrack because of how good it is. Therefore, I have to go come up with this little bit of a harder method of working and making the LP even better by having the music adjusted. Have I LP GT2? Uh, I do not have an LP yet for Gran Turismo 2. I have one for Gran Turismo 1. It's on the channel. <laughs> I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soda. My favorite part about the whole mission is like, I, I, I think there was one part where Big Smoke was like, KILL THAT ASSHOLE! Man, this food's good. And every time you crash, it's like, MAN, HE'S SPILLING MY KETCHUP OR MY SPECIAL! <laughs> it's like, he's like angry at the fact that... One hour to go. Do I use an emulator? Uh, no. I, well, no, I do not. So, GT1 and GT2, well, the planned LP for GT2, I use my PS3. Um, for GT3 and 4, I'm using a PS2 Slim. 5 and 6, my PS3 Slim. Nope. Nope. 
Nope, hell no, you guys are not passing me. Damn, that many people are on MTA still? PPSSPP to play GTPSP. Cool! I actually use that emulator as well. I'm actually doing an LP for GTPSP, but that's more of a side project, so it's kind of like on and off, you know? Well, it seemed like he tried using the truck against me, <laughs> but I backfired. His own plan. Hey, Paolo, how's it going? You know I was at a strip club yesterday. Hmm. How did you know I was at a strip club? Oh, definitely. Yeah, it is a good game, Paolo. Um, y yes, you're correct on that, Lucino. My favorite Gran Turismo is number four. You're definitely right about that, my friend. Okay, one more race for this segment, and then. We do a new recording because I don't want these videos to be too long. I want them to be around like 20 to 40 minutes tops. Nah, in all seriousness now, CK. Um, I haven't been to a strip club in a while. <laughs> I'm not much of a strip club person, to be honest. Like, it's cool, you know? Like, like strip clubs are alright if you go out just... You know, if you just go out to have fun with some friends and just go see... Go see girls, I guess. I had one friend who like had a huge problem with just spending way too much money on lap dances, so I was just like, dude, like, no, 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 like, we gotta stop going with you, dude. <laughs> like, you're literally dumping all this cash into strip clubs. Like, I did. I'll spend like maybe hundred tops, but no more than that. <laughs> but, but yeah, um, I was actually dropping off my mom somewhere. Cause she's going to... I was dropping her off at the airport because she's going to Vegas. Where am I from? I am from the United States, my friend. But do I use a phone to play or PC? No, PC. So, all my emulators, I use PC. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon skeezy. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. What's up, young penguin? Just trying to catch up with the comments. Yeah, I mean, it's not a big deal, CK. Just... I have. It's alright. I mean, it's nothing like... I don't know, man. I'm the type of person that's not really, like, too crazy about strip clubs and, like, shit like that, to be honest. Your webinar... I, I thought your webinar was over at 10. You miss Gran Turismo games? Me too. GT Sport is what I used to play a lot of on this channel. Well, I still do, but I'm giving it like a big, big break right now just because the game really would piss me off. You know, funny thing, I actually, um, me and, me and this one dude, you had another one, it was two back to back. Oh, that sucks, man. <laughs> that does not sound like fun at all. That was crazy. What I was going to say, CK, was I actually knew this one girl who became a stripper. And, uh, yeah, like... Like, th here's the thing, it's weird because, like, I knew which strip club she worked at, but it's just like, dude, I, I don't really want to go while she's working, you know? Like, me and my buddy were just like, should we go while she's working there? And we're just like, no, that's kind of weird, you know? Like, 
she hangs out with us on the regular and like you know you, you see her in her work environment like that you're just like okay like yeah you're hot but I, I don't know it's just it, it, I think it'd be kind of awkward free lap dances <laughs> see that, that's the thing like <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know if she would. We, we don't even talk to her anymore. It was just unfortunate because she was a good friend. But eh, it's some circumstances that I won't really talk about. But yeah, that that's why that, that that's why it was weird. I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. Hey, what's up, uh, X Trap? Good to he see you here, man. How's it going? You might mod your PS2. Nice. Oh, you own an Xbox, which is why you missed GT. Ah, uh, I see. Well, all you really need to mod the PS2 is free McBoot, honestly. You don't even need to hard mod it. Just soft mod the thing with a memory card. That's what I'm going to do to mine soon. It would be stranger. That reminds me I need to do that. I want to play GT3 and GT4. My friend, I want to play them all. So when I'm on my um, PS2, I'll be playing GT Concept, GT4 Prologue, etc, etc. Actually, when I play GT3, I'm going to play the Japanese version because of the Lamborghini Diablo. That's the only reason why. No, no, save the nitrous, save the nitrous. Oh, you had a PS3 with GT6. What happened to it? Did you get rid of it or what? I still have my PS3. Still have my one from 2010 because I got my console really late. I got it specifically for Gran Turismo 5. Isn't it crazy how time works that like now the PS3 is, I wouldn't say it's retro, but it's definitely, it's last generation and you can get it for dirt cheap now when it was worth like a couple hundred. Why they knock off B-Spec with Sport? I don't know. <laughs> You still have your PS3 80, were you talking about 80 gig? Like the OG fat one? A second hand first gen, nice. My buddy Ambush King actually had a first gen PS3 all the way up until last year when it finally died. All right. So we're gonna do some more races later.